If there is a one piece of clothing that will instantly amplify your wardrobe, it's a blazer. Today, I've partnered with Veronica Beard to share five ways to style one blazer. Let's go. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I am a luxury obsessed fashion enthusiast that shares my passion here with you. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel so you can stay in the loop with all the latest fashion finds and luxury must-haves. Let's go ahead and meet the blazer that we're gonna be styling today. This is one of the famous Veronica Beard Miller blazers. If you know, you know you're gonna wanna stay till the end because in the last outfit I share how you can completely transform this blazer and so many other Veronica Beard blazers. I really wanted to challenge myself because I feel like when you look at this blazer, you might instantly think, how are you gonna style that casual Amanda? I've got some tricks up my sleeves. I cannot wait to share these five outfits. Let's go ahead and get started. For outfit number one, I wanted to go ahead and style this blazer the most obvious way because a two-piece set is always a good idea, especially when it comes in houndstooth. This skirt is seriously perfection. It is giving all of the old money classic vibes. If you have any upcoming holiday parties and you're wanting to kind of walk in with a wow moment, this suit is perfection. But make sure to check out the links down below because they have a lot of great holiday pieces. So I ended up doing the match coordinating set which is also in the houndstooth fabric love this like i said old money classic timeless i ended up doing the skirt which fits perfectly i grabbed this in a size two i also have the blazer in a size two so i would definitely say they run true to size and then because i really wanted a clean look underneath the blazer i ended up just pairing it with a very fitted black tank which was the perfect layer for underneath and I didn't want the accessories to make a statement. I really wanted the suit to be the statement of the outfit. So I did a very simple nude almond toe pump. These to me are perfect. And I really feel like doing a nude shoe with this particular outfit just looks a lot more modern than going with the expected black pump. But I did add a black bag and I feel like this bag is the perfect piece to add to this outfit. It just adds to that classic sophisticated look that I feel like this suit completely needs. For outfit number two, I wanted to do another dressier option, but done just a little bit different. I wanted the blazer to be the star of the show. And in the blazer, there is a very, very light beige weave throughout it. So I ended up grabbing a pair of dress pants in that exact color. These are just a very simple dress pant, a little bit more wide leg, and I feel like they are the perfect way to bring out the tones of the houndstooth, the lighter tones, but still allow the contrast of the blazer so that it can be the star of the show. Staying within that color palette, I ended up grabbing one of my go-to bodysuits. I love a bodysuit for a clean look, especially for layering under a blazer. I ended up grabbing one of my go-to pair of heels. These are so, so comfortable and honestly go with absolutely everything. And because I wanted the blazer to really be the star of the show, I stuck with that same color palette and I did a very, very simple handbag. This one's by Jacquemus and I love this piece. I feel like it adds a little touch of texture to the outfit without making a statement, really allowing the blazer to shine. For outfit number three, I wanted to go ahead and style this blazer one of my favorite favorite ways, which is going to be a pair of jeans, but I wanted to do a slightly dressier version with jeans. You're going to see some more casual stuff soon. I promise. These jeans are one of my absolute favorite. They do have a little bit more of a flare at the end. So I did pair it with the heel, which makes it just a little bit dressier. And because we're talking holiday party, I wanted to go and throw in this really, really lightweight mock neck top. I feel like this one layers perfectly under this blazer where it allows the blazer to shine, but it still adds a little bit of texture and just it's the perfect fall kind of winter look. I love this piece. This sweater is so great. I wanted to add in a little bit more texture to this outfit, so I added this suede classic pump. I feel like it's the perfect complement to these pieces. And last but certainly not least, I went ahead and did a little bit more of a structured, dressier handbag, just so the outfit looked a little bit dressier, even though you're pairing it with denim. For outfit number four, I pushed the envelope just a little bit. I had so much fun with these last two outfits. We're going to do another pair of jeans. These are another one of my go-tos in a different fit. These are what I would call a relaxed skinny. It's kind of like skinny meets straight 
They're really comfortable. They're one of my go-to. I just love these. I also like the fact that they're in a slightly darker wash, so keep make sure to pay attention to all of those details. I wanted to add just a little bit of color underneath the blazer. This fitted, kind of faded green top was perfection. I really, really love the fit of this. I'm gonna be ordering this in a lot more colors, but I thought this green was really pretty, especially for the holidays. And to coordinate with the green fitted top, I ended up finding my Nike sneakers were a perfect match. These were so cute and I just feel like do such a great job styling everything together. But the final piece is honestly where I feel like it all just kind of came together. I think key when styling outfits like this is making it seem all intentional. You don't want it to look like you forgot a piece and you just made this one work because the shoes coordinate with the tee, but then the bag can kind of be considered a slightly dressier bag. It just all works together. This is my Celine belt bag. It's simple, it's understated. I feel like the blazer is still the statement of the outfit, but it's just done in a way that feels more wearable for every day. Remember when I said in the beginning to make sure to stay to the end so you can see how I transform this famous Miller jacket into something very different? Well, we're here. And I am just gonna say that I feel like this whole concept that I'm about to share with you has completely changed my vision on my blazer wardrobe for the entire future. Let me introduce to you the Dickie. This right here is what sets apart Veronica Beard blazers from basically every other blazer around. Veronica Beard has managed to add a hidden zipper and buttons inside these Miller jackets so that you can mix and match all of their different dickies that come out throughout the year in different fabrics, different colors, different everything. I went to the store and I wanna say they had 20 different options to choose from. I was looking for something very specific to go with this blazer and I came across this one and it was perfection. Here it is with the dicky installed into the blazer, I guess you could say. We've got zippers here on the side and then three buttons to go around, one on each side and one in the back of the neck. For this particular outfit, I really wanted to challenge myself and style just a pair of joggers. Who doesn't love being comfortable in a pair of joggers? When you think of joggers, you usually think of loungewear, maybe working out, but I knew that I had to really, really try and style this piece with a pair of joggers, and I love the way this outfit turned out. Because I already had the layered look with the blazer and the dicky, I wanted to go ahead and just do a simple fitted tee and I felt like this cream colored one was perfect. Then I just added a pair of cream slip-on sneakers, which honestly were perfect for this particular outfit. Like I said, I'm so happy with the way this outfit just seamlessly came together. And the last finishing touch is my Givenchy Antigona bag. I feel like this was the perfect bag for this particular outfit. I love the way this outfit ended up styling together. Who knew that styling a houndstooth blazer with a pair of joggers would work out so well. So there you have it. Five different ways to style this Veronica Beard blazer. Is anyone else impressed with the versatility of this piece or just in general, the styling of this video? I honestly had so much fun putting together these outfits. Some were a little more expected and some not so much, but either way, it definitely gives you an idea of so many different ways that you can style not only this piece, but any of Veronica Beard's blazers, specifically the Miller ones. Those are my favorite, but they do have a ton of other blazer options that aren't in the Miller category family. Make sure to check out the links down below. If you've got any holiday upcoming parties, they've really got some great, beautiful pieces. I've already started my own Veronica Beard collection here. I'm truly obsessed with the brand in general. The quality is amazing and the story behind the brand is pretty incredible as well. Thank you so much to Veronica Beard for partnering with me on this video. I have to say, I just wanna give a little shout out to each one of you watching this video because you may not know this, but Veronica Beard was one of my dream campaigns and I never in a million years thought I would be able to partner up with them. Like it truly is, just like a pinch me moment. And it is because of every single one of you 
watching this video, every single one of you are gonna click the links down below in the info box. So please show Veronica Beard some love and go check out their website. Go do a little window shopping, pick up a couple of pieces to add to your wardrobe, whether it's for the holiday season or just, you know, capsule wardrobe type of stuff. They really have all of that there. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all very, very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.